five, four, three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. when things aren't going right and you are rooting for us just like we are rooting for all of you. So what has this done, this community done for me? It's helped me go from being angry and bitter to celebrating our lives and learning how to live. So thank you very much. So I ask now, where do we go from here? The future of NBIA Disorders Association holds hope in moments of despair, shining like a beacon in the darkness. It makes impossible dreams into reality.
Sarah Dorr. I'm the board chair for NBIA Disorders Association, and this is my son, Max. He's 10 years old and was diagnosed with classic pecan when he was five. And this is our third conference, our second one in person. This is our first conference. My daughter, Sophie, and I, I'm Ken Bell. We're from Vermont. And yeah, we're super happy to be here. It's our first time. My name is Chris Houston and I am Pecan. This is our first conference. We're coming all the way from Mexico City. And uh, yeah, so this is the first time that we're here and it's really exciting, yeah. My name is Callan Ritzman and I have a sister named Josie and she has NBIA with p -Lan. And so this means that when she was very young, she um, started losing abilities. Um, she was learning how to walk and then kept falling a lot or she was learning how to talk and then would use the word E a lot which doesn't mean anything and um, so over time we knew something was wrong but it wasn't until 2012 when we got a diagnosis and then the next year in 2013 we went through our first NBIA conference and well that is why we're here today. We came because of our daughter, Catherine. Um, this is our fourth conference that we've been to. Um, Catherine is home though. Um, she's uh, got a job, so we left her there so she could continue to um, live in the community and be active. Um, we discovered the NBIA um, back in 2017. We uh, came to the conference in Chicago and we've been to every conference since that time, every two years. So really enjoy all the friends that we've met and um, just the fellowship of sharing with other people who sort of understand our world. Um, the conferences are always full of a lot of information. We like to know what's um, being done in research and learn uh, how other families sort of contend with different things. Meeting people that are um, close to my daughter's age as well as in the future has been really helpful just to sort of get a glimpse of how other families sort of deal with some of the issues that uh, we might face and um, it just gives us a lot of hope and encouragement. The NBAA Disorders Association has helped our family um, in so many ways. Uh, first and foremost, it gave us connection and community um, in a time when we were really feeling uh, alone and scared and uh, isolated. And we're still scared, um, I'll be honest, but um, having this community and especially having the opportunity to gather with this community every couple of years is invaluable to us. The NBA organization has been super helpful to me and my family. Uh, it's provided us resources to understand uh, what we live with as a family, um, and we're a part of a much larger community. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been a real good resource for us to really to connect other families. I just find it a great support. El viaje fue algo enriquecedor, fue algo que nos entusiasmó mucho desde el primer momento en que lo supimos, en que se nos dio esta oportunidad y realmente estar aquí para nosotros es increíble, es formar parte de algo, de una comunidad, es eh, como se lo comentaba Jennifer, esto para mí es una luz en un camino de oscuridad para nosotros en México donde no se conoce la enfermedad, donde no hay médicos, donde no hay eh, asociaciones ni instituciones dispuestas a ayudarnos en este camino tan, tan largo que, que nos toca. And I think that the fact that we came from Mexico, that there are families from all over the world, it really speaks about, you know, how strongly this organization has worked on making it international, making it open for everybody that we heard from Mexico and that we're not the only family who came from there because we all knew about this. Like we didn't communicate within each other like about coming here or anything, but the three cases that are documented in Mexico, we are here and that's because we heard about the NBIA. I've so. met a lot of people this conference and in the past conferences too and it is great making these connections because this disease is extremely rare and so there are very few people who totally understand the experiences we all face in this and it is great to meet up with all of them and meeting up with everyone causes hope because it makes us know that there's a chance that we could find different things that will help 
our NBIA loved ones. Um, this organization has especially like, helped my sister because we've been able to get advice when we need help knowing like what to do. She has a G tube, how to help her with that, or like mobility tips. And in the same way, like we can try to help other people too, or at least be other people's friends because we're a community here. And that's what I just love about this conference is it's all us meeting together. So that we can have this community and that we can have this hope. Encontramos una comunidad donde nos sentimos arropados de, mm -hmm. como familia, sentimos que nos entienden, que saben por lo que estamos pasando, mm -hmm. porque todos hemos pasado este proceso y, y este andar ya no es estar solos. Este andar ya me siento parte de una comunidad donde me entienden, donde me escuchan, donde yo busque consuelo, porque la primera vez que tuve oportunidad de hablar eh, con alguien de la asociación, yo estaba devastada. No sabía hacia dónde dirigirme ni cómo ayudar a Camila en este proceso y, y esto me ha abierto la mente, me ha abierto las posibilidades, me ha abierto las esperanzas, me ha abierto y me ha devuelto la vida. It's a chance to see old friends and make new friends and connections, uh, to share our experiences and to have fun um, with people who get it. We're super happy to be here this weekend. It's been a fabulous opportunity for us to meet and network with other families, uh, with healthcare professionals, and to learn about what's happening in, you know, in, our, in our disease family, in our BPAN condition. Um, it's been a great, great opportunity for us. We certainly will be back in the future. It was such a hard work to come here. It was really difficult for us and we had to have many things considered so that we could make it happen and I really want to thank you know everyone that helped us through that way I have you know I just want to thank especially you know the president Patricia I want to say that seeing her like I, we feel so honored to be here on her last year of her being president as well and so excited for Amber and We've said it many ways, uh, many times, I'm sorry, uh, but Jennifer has been such an angel on her way. And uh, yes, it's been so exciting. It's been so moving. We find um, this feeling of being free, being understood. And like during the conferences, there were times where my sister would, you know, like uh, get, sing get to singing or dancing or jumping. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm trying to get her quiet. And then I remember everyone here gets it everyone here gets it and that's the best feeling in the world and um, it was so exciting it was so moving and it truly was life-changing to come here I, I guess I just want to say as board chair how grateful I am for everybody who uh, made the trip and uh, contributed their time and talent and energy uh, to this amazing event thank you goodbye say bye hey. it's a great weekend so thank you and it was it was amazing and uh, we have no words to express how thankful we are that this happened and that this exists so um we are fighting for camila for my sister uh, and we've found family we found doctors we found answers we found a new world that we did not know that it existed so thank you for that yeah thank you <laughs> yeah thank, thank you so, so much